Well, praise the Lord. This is Pastor Nicholson of Gates of Faith Ministries right here in the city of Richmond, Virginia. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Want to expound on the verse for the day is found in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. And the Bible reads, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Now that verse starts off with and, so we got to go back as far as verse 22 and read into it. It says, Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. Not with eye servants as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Well, now this is a little tough one for us today because we're just coming out of the Black History Month. And every time we go through that period of the year, we always uh, remember the ill treatment of the slave masters and our four parents. And there's always this uneasy feeling. It's something that we kind of not even, we don't even want to talk about it. We don't want to come near it. But I want to try to settle us today and help us to see things from God's perspective. And the truth of the matter is God permitted it. God permitted it. And he has a plan and a purpose for everything that he permits to happen. And we can't do anything to change what took place, but we can move into this word and get the real benefit that God intends out of everything that happens in the earth realm. If you notice what he's saying here, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. Now, as Christians, we are to put on the new man, and by putting on the new man, we should be submissive to the authority that's over us, and what God is really doing here, he's setting up a, a role of authority, and maybe we are not under slave masters today, thank God, but you have an employer, you have a boss, you have a supervisor, and so... Today, we are to uh, be submissive to these people that are in authority over us. It will bless you. Uh, this is God's sphere of authority. Employees have a God-ordained role of obedience and submission to their employers. And, and see, we need to learn that. If employees would submit to their employers and work as if they're working for the Lord, then God will bless you for your uh, submissiveness and working because it is God who promotes. Uh, the Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west, but God is judge. He puts down one and he puts up another. And so when you come to the bottom line, God is going to bless you for the way you conduct yourself under the authority of your employer and your supervisors. And even the day we call them boss. He says, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in sincerity of heart, fearing God. What is he saying? We're not supposed to work just to uh, please the boss. We work when they're watching, but when they're not watching, we just kind of lay back and chill. And there are people that do that. Uh, I had a habit when I was working uh, for Exxon Company. I, I never played off on the game. If, if I'm working, I'm working. And then when I went in business for myself, uh, when it came to working, I was going to do my work as unto the Lord. And I believe that's why God has blessed me so, because I didn't work just to please men. I worked to please God. And there's a sense of fulfillment in working to please God. And he said this, whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not to men. And he goes on to say, God promised to reward us for our work. And see, you as a Christian, and I am a Christian, we should not be dishonest or lazy or unreliable. Uh, we should be the best workers on the job. And God will bless you abundantly for that. 
Uh, you may not see it all in dollars and cents, but the favor of God will rest upon your life. So I want to encourage you today uh, to let's go back to the word of God. Whatsoever we do, let's do it heartily as unto the Lord and not as unto men, and God will bless you. Well, until the next time, I love you with the love of God. Have a blessed day.